Hi, my name's Stephen Scott. I'm 2015 Young Landscaper of the Year. My name's Carl Nolden and I won the Young Amenity Horticulturist of the Year. I'm Hamish Gates. I won the Young Grower of the Year competition. Hi, I'm Kat Rennie and I won the Young Florist of the Year competition. Hi, my name's Caleb Dennis and I won the Young Viticulturist of the Year. Hey, I'm Tom Ferguson. I was the winner of the Nursery and Garden Industry Young Achiever of the Year Award. I work for Natural Habitats as a team leader of a two-man team working mainly on high-end residential sites. I'm the curator of the main gardens at the Wellington Botanic Garden and my job entails managing a range of staff and looking after a broad range of amenity collections. I work for A.S. Wilcox & Sons up in Pukekohe. I'm a carrot wash line supervisor and I oversee the washing and packing of domestic and export product. I own a company called Gypsy Rose Florist which is based in Christchurch and I specialise in wedding flowers and corporate arrangements. I'm a retail assistant at Southern Woods Plant Nursery so that means I go out and talk to people about plants, discuss their gardening needs and make recommendations. I work for Craggy Range Vineyards in the Hawke's Bay as the Group Technical Officer and I'm responsible for the technical data collection across all our company sites during the season. I entered the floristry competition for a challenge and to gain some leadership skills within the industry. So within the next five years I'd like to have my own retail florist shop and also become a true leader within the floral industry and horticultural industry. I'd really like to travel to Europe uh, to experience the floral culture over there and bring all of that knowledge back to New Zealand. I entered the uh, Young Landscaper of the Year for a bit of fun and to challenge myself and, and see how well I would do against the other young landscapers in our industry. Uh, in five years I'd like to be probably further up the food chain, um, project managing a couple of sites at, at one time. I'd go overseas and have a look at um, the landscapes that they're doing at the moment in um, Germany and, and the European countries. This is my second time entering the amenity competition and I really just wanted to push myself and challenge myself and um, see how I perform. Yeah, I'd love to one day manage the Wellington Botanic Gardens. Five years may be a little bit ambitious, um, so in between that time, just working towards that goal. One of the things I'd love to do is travel to London and uh, do the International Diploma at Kew Gardens. Uh, the reason I entered the competition was because I wanted to meet new people in the industry. Uh, in five years' time, my sort of dream job would be to become a plant breeder. I'm really interested in new plant varieties for amenity use. Uh, to win was a huge surprise and I had no expectation of coming this far when I first started. Um, so it's completely changed my life and everything that I thought I would be able to achieve at this age. I'd like to start toward working towards collecting the various skills I need to achieve my long-term goals, being able to influence the industry as I get older. I'd love to go overseas to America or Canada, maybe Chile and see some of the places that have put in lots of automation and see what it is that we can achieve. I was hoping to get a really good experience out of it, exposure to the industry and learn a few more skills along the way. Uh, in the next five years I'd like to be a company viticulturalist for a big wine company. Um, being in this competition will help me get my name out there, get some exposure in the industry and also some more skills to help me along that progression. I'd like to go and have a look around California, Napa Valley, look at how they are doing Pinot there and also potentially go to Bordeaux in France and get a better understanding of how the Bordeaux varieties are grown in their home region.